It's Sunday morning, just before lunch, December 22nd. We are headed out to go run a few errands, all fun stuff. It's just Bob and I for Christmas Day dinner, so we are going to use the opportunity, as we do often, to experiment with some new recipes, and we are actually going to try Gordon Ramsay's recipe for Beef Wellington. We figure if we screw it up, it's just the two of us, so it's all good, right? We'll find out. I'll let you know how it turns out. Uh, I might film it as a cooking with Fred. And I'm here at the mailbox. I got to drop off an Etsy order. And we're going to just go do some fun shopping. Nothing Christmas related or um, errand. We need a few groceries for Christmas Day dinner, but yeah. We're just going to go have fun and putter. I'll bring you with us. You know I will. I'll be back. Okay, so we are leaving by Mart, which no, it, I'm, sorry, H -Mart. I'm sorry, I'm sorry, H Mart, which is next door to by Mart. But anyway, we're leaving H Mart, which is our local Asian food store. And it's close to the house. We have another, <clears throat> there's a lot of them, but there's another one I like, but it's a little bit farther away. Anyway, I hadn't been here yet, so. I don't know what I the H stands for, though. I don't either, but we said, let's stop there, let's check it out. Okay, the conclusion, we love it there. Uh, staff was super friendly. The uh, funny. they and so funny, funny, hilarious. The one lady was hilarious. Bob asked, "What should I drink with this?" Because he's gonna buy a bag of the food she was uh, tasting, and he, she says beer. <laughs> she said it in a way that everybody around us all we yeah. all started laughing. So anyway, um, we just went in to look around. We didn't really intend on buying too much. We spent fifty dollars. <laughs> So, dumplings and yeah mostly dumplings and things. and things but um they have a great selection of produce i finally found a store that has a great selection of fresh herbs at the asian market not surprised when i need them i'm gonna just come here um they had fish they had meat they had, all they had a things. great meat and fish counter yep. really great so i'll leave the information for the store's website down below if you're in the area you want to check it out um, Uajima is the other one I like. They're in Beaverton. They're a little fancier and they have um, um, Asian and Hawaiian. They have a lot of Hawaiian food at Uajima. Mm. They also have a really big kitchen and houseware section and a bookstore and stationery section. So um, he hasn't been there yet. So that'll be, we'll go there. Not today, but anyway. Um, we're going to go home now because it's starting to rain and we decided we must be the Wicked Witch and we're going to melt, so we need to go home. And haven't had any lunch. We haven't had any lunch. The back of the car is full of groceries. You know. Anyway, H Mart. It's a great place to stop, especially if you like different kinds of food and you want a really good selection of fresh vegetables, meat, and fish. All right, that's it. We'll be back. I would say good morning, but it's not morning. Uh, it's Monday, December 23rd, six pieces of trash. God damn it. Um, it's after three o'clock in the afternoon. It might be closer to four. What time is it, dear? Uh, five to four. 
seven, eight pieces of trash. Nine. Uh, so I'm that crazy person in your neighborhood that rocks, walks around the neighborhood with a garbage bag and gloves and a picker, usually picking up garbage. But this afternoon I didn't bring any of that and of course it's the one day when I see lots of trash on our walk and I don't have anything to pick it up with. God damn it. <laughs> anyway, we're... Say hey, Fred. Hey, Fred. It is Tuesday morning, um, Christmas Eve. It's just before noon, so technically it's still morning. We are headed out to go north and visit with my family and have a nice family Christmas Eve dinner, which we haven't done in years, so this ought to be interesting. All right, I'll be back. Okay, so we are back home. Ha! Huh. It is just before 10 o'clock, and we are home from our uh, niece Katie and her husband Brendan's house. I shot a little bit of footage there, not too much, because we were doing the family thing. Anyway, we had a really great time, and holy cow, is Katie a great cook. Katie, I need the cheesecake recipe because Uncle Bob now wants to make the cheesecake. Yep, it was delicious. See? <laughs> but it's early enough we're gonna change into some comfy clothes and we're gonna just sit and chill for a bit and we don't have anywhere we need to be for at least 24 hours maybe longer so we're all good all right I'll be back
Merry Christmas morning, everybody. It is Wednesday morning, December 25th. I don't know exactly what time it is. Let's see. 11.24 a.m. according to the computer, which is just now booting up. We had a quiet morning and have opened presents, had some breakfast, that sort of thing. Taking a little breather before we start cooking with Fred. <laughs> I'm gonna bring the tripod and camera downstairs probably for some of that and yeah it ought to be all good I think I'm gonna make some homemade biscuits and we're gonna steam some broccoli make garlic mashed potatoes hopefully the beef wellington comes out but uh, you know we'll see <laughs> we have ham still from Friday so if it doesn't uh... filming cooking with Fred Christmas edition we're making beef Wellington it's gonna be a separate video so if you want to see it you're gonna have to watch that I'll link it below all right I gotta go back to cooking the mushrooms I'll be so back. <laughs> right before I turn the phone on here to do a little bit of vlogging um, Christmas Christmas Day evening he says you know we ate half of the beef Wellington it, and it wasn't a small bee of Wellington, we're stuffed, but it was really, turned out really good. A teeny tiny bit on the salty side. It's good but I salty. think, but I think that was from the, the prosciutto. Could have been from the prosciutto. Yeah, and Could've plus been. if there was salt in the mushrooms and then salt on the meat, that's a lot of salt. Yeah. So maybe next time I would like cut some salt out of something. But uh, it was well, very- Well, even put salt on top of the wash. Top the, uh, it was it would have been way too salty would have been way too but it was really good mm -hmm. anyway we're gonna take a little breather now and then clean up the kitchen but and have dessert have, uh, yeah we still have dessert we still have cake <laughs> hey, look, see, look, our plates are clean. we clearly hated it the plates are empty we clearly hated every bit so we had to eat it all so you know anyway we hope you've all had a great Christmas we'll see you tomorrow we'll be back bye
Good morning. I think it's morning. Uh, Technically. 11.20. Um, it is Thursday, December 26th, and we're getting ready to go out. I know. Those of you who are introverts and or just don't like the day after Christmas are all groaning right about now. It's going to be very people-y out there, but we've got some stuff we need to do. Uh, we've already done the social media thing. I mailed the Etsy orders for today, fed Bambi. They're outside eating right now. I kind of feel bad because we need to leave, which means we're going to scare them away, but I'm sure they'll come right back. Anyway, we're going to go deal with what we need to deal with and we'll be back. We Bambi's eating. They're so hungry, they don't care that we open the garage door. Can pretty much guarantee you they'll run away when we start the car though. They don't seem to like the, loud, the noise of the motor. But they're not that scared of us. Food over fear, right? Right. right. So we went to the Verizon store because my husband's phone was broken. That was expensive. Then we went to Costco, the warehouse store. That wasn't cheap either. <laughs> now we're headed to Cabela's. So, you know, it's going to be an expensive day. I might need cashews while we're here. I'll be back. Good morning. It's Friday morning, December 27th, um, 1138 AM. Technically it's still morning. Um, we're getting ready to just go out and have some fun, walk around, do some exploring. Um, I don't think we're going far, but we have yet to fully explore our new town and our new neighborhood. So we're going to do more of that. I have discovered that I'm enjoying doing this, but without bringing my handbag. I take the minimum, I stuff them in my coat pockets, I wear a waist belt or something, and I just don't have my handbag. And I kind of like it. I wish I had more pockets with, or more coats with pockets on the inside. Like men's jackets, you know, where inside the lapel, inside the front of the coat, there's a pocket. Anyway. They don't make too many women's coats like that. So, but anyway, it's a weird thing to suddenly enjoy doing, I think. Is it just me? Let me know in the comments below. All right, that's it for now. I am going to remember today to bring my sunglasses. I forgot them yesterday. I got blinded by the afternoon, winter Portland sun. So we're going to remember today to bring the sunglasses because, yeah, that was a thing. It's cloudy out here. It's cloudy. I may not need them, but at least I'll have them. Unlike yesterday. We left, it was cloudy yesterday too, and then suddenly the sun came out and I was blinded. Anyway, I'll be back. Okay guys, so Curiosities Vintage in Tigard, Oregon. I'll link their website down below. I do recommend it if you're in the area as a place to go shopping because I have to tell y'all, so you know my little brown leather suitcase that I use to travel with my art supplies. I'll insert a picture of the original case right about here. 
well. I've been saying for years, literally joking, if we ever see another one, I'm gonna buy it. We go in a lot of vintage shops, we never see one. Guess what I found today? I'll get a picture of it next to the original a little bit later, but yeah, I'm a happy camper. I'll be back. So now we are in downtown Portland and we are going to do some walking around and exploring. We're at Pioneer Place Mall, which we've been to before, but you know, it doesn't hurt to make a second visit. Fun fact, this is near where Muji is. Not that I'm gonna go there, but you never know. All right, I'll be back. Saturday morning, December 28th. Sometime Saturday morning. I think it's just after 10. Um, it's a balmy 44-ish degrees outside. Something like that. We are headed out for a drive over to Bend, Oregon. And I will make sure to bring you with us. We're going to just spend the day exploring. I'll be back. Fred. What? <laughs> so we got to cl close the vlog. Oh. Yeah. So we're back home now. We're back home. We had a lot of fun in Bend and we can't wait to go back to visit. Yes. We're going to go back in the summertime. We saw like 20 places we want to eat at. Uh-huh. So yeah, lots of places, like places to walk and things, other things to do. Yeah. Um, downtown Bend and the Old Mill District are just really mm -hmm. pretty places to walk. Yep. Um, but note to self. We really don't enjoy the drive back through the mountains, through the Willamette Forest in the dark. Yeah. Especially during the wintertime when the uh, streets and the roads are covered with um, salt and everything like that. It's really hard to see the lines and it's hard. Yeah. It sucks. It sucked and it gets dark it at 430. Yeah, it sucks. So we won't be doing that again. But we had a good time. We've enjoyed this week. It's been mm -hmm. a lot of fun. But on to the next, right? So we hope you've had a good Christmas week as we have. Uh, if you have any questions, comments, or concerns, leave them down below. Don't forget to watch out for Fre uh, Cooking with Fred, mm -hmm. uh, Christmas edition. And um, let us know what else you'd like to see in the coming year. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. And above all, go out and have a great day. Do something nice for yourself because you deserve it. And we'll see you later. Bye. Bye.